Hello everyone. Over the last few months, I've seen a lot of teachers ask about screen recording programs, whether it's to record your classes that you have with your students. Not all platforms that teachers teach on have built in class recording software. So you might want it to record your lessons or you might want to record yourself like reading a story or practicing pronunciation to send to your students for them to practice outside of class time. So a lot of screen recording programs are great, but a lot of times the file sizes are just too large. Most of our students are in China that we're teaching for ESL and we send the files through WeChat. Well, WeChat has a file size limit when you're sending a direct message to a parent, which is 100 megabytes. So it's important to A, find a free screen recording program because we don't want to add to our payment every month that we're already paying for other resources like our curriculum or the platform. And two, we want to make sure the file size is small enough that we can send it to them. So I did find a great program called Vimeo and I actually heard about it from another teacher and I tested it out and it is great. It's easy to use and it works perfectly to send to students. So let's take a look at it. First of all, when I first heard about it, of course, I did a Google search. Vimeo. When you click on the Vimeo site, you're going to see all the paid plans. Of course, they want you to pay for a plan. They don't advertise on the screen that there is a free version. They want you to either start a free trial for the paid plan or purchase one of the plans. And even looking through, I could not find a button to sign up for the free plan. But if you look down here, it does have in the frequently asked questions, is Vimeo basic, just a free trial? And it tells you, no, it is actually a free plan. But there of course are limitations based on having the free plan versus one of the paid plans. But I think, at least for me and most teachers that teach one-on-one -on -one classes, 25 minute classes to our students in China, the basic plan is perfect. So I continued scrolling. I couldn't even find a place to sign up, log in, nothing. So if you are looking to check out Vimeo, you should type in Vimeo basic and click on the first one that pops up. And now you get to the site where you can log in and sign up. So since I've already logged in, I have my information over here to check out my account information. So let's talk about what is included with the basic free plan. So notice I did not sign up for a trial. I don't wanna deal with the trial. I just want the free plan. So I'm gonna to go to my videos. This is kind of like your dashboard where you can check out all the videos that you have saved. And in the bottom left, you can see the limits for your free plan. There's a weekly limit of 500 megabytes and then a total limit of five gigabytes. But these are totals for the videos you have saved here. So if you delete the videos, then it will lower your file size, your limit. So if you don't plan on holding on to these videos for more than a day or two, this plan is perfect for you. Because what I do after I save the file, I download it, send it to the parent, and then I can come in here and delete it. So it does not count against my file size. And as you can see here, I have two videos, 39 minutes, 32 minutes, and it's not even saying I have one gigabyte used yet. So the file sizes are relatively small, so you can have lots of space if you teach multiple classes in one day. So once you have recorded your class or recorded yourself, your videos will show in your recordings. There are two ways you can send the videos. First is with a link. So if I click on this little link button, copy link, copy video link, and then I can paste it into WeChat for the parent. But when I tested this with a parent in China, she told me she could not access the link when she clicked on it. I don't know if that's something specific for my parent, her internet or her device. So keep in mind, the link may not work for your parents if they are in China. But there is a second option, which is downloading. So if you go to the three little dots 
and then down here it says download and it gives you three download options. These are basically video quality. So the lowest quality is the 240, then you have 360, and then the best video quality is 540. I tested out the 240 and the 360 since I know the 540 is gonna be too large to send to my parents over WeChat. It's 170 just for a 25 or a 35 minute video. The 360 was perfectly fine. I did not have a problem with it. I know my parents won't have a problem with it. So with my 30, I think it was 32 minute video, which most of my classes are 25 to 30 minutes long, I know that those videos will be able to be sent in 360p. I can download those and they can send over WeChat. The 240 I thought was very grainy. It wasn't very good quality. I would not like that video as a parent myself. But if you are teaching hour long classes, you're most likely going to be having to use that 240p. So keep that in mind. You can take a look at what that would look like to see if you think it's good enough quality for your parents. So 360p, perfectly fine, small enough for a 30 minute class. Now let's go over to my 39 minute class. When I click download, the 360p is 101.984, almost there, but a little bit too large. So once you get past that 35 minute mark, that 360p file size is going to be too large. So again, if you teach those 25 to 30 minute classes, you should be perfectly fine for the 360p downloads. So what I do, like I said, is I click download, I save it to my computer, then I upload that file to my parent on WeChat, and then I can go in here on Vimeo, and then I can just delete the video so it does not count against my total limits for the week and my total limit. So now that you see how the videos look and where you can find them, let's talk about actually screen recording your classes or screen recording yourself. So if you teach on, for example, Koala Go, Koala Go does not have a built-in screen recording program for your classes. So you will need something like Vimeo. When you sign up and get ready to use your Vimeo, you will be able to download an extension. If you don't know what an extension is, that's what you see in this top right corner. They're things that are added to your browser that you can use directly in the browser. So I'm gonna go to a classroom on Koala Go, like I was teaching, and then I'm going to click on my extension, which is the V in the top right corner. And this little screen will pop up. There are three options. You can record just the screen. You can record a camera, or you can record both the screen and the camera. Since I already have my video in Koala Go, I don't need a camera of myself. I just want to record the screen. I can see my sound is moving, so I know the sound is correct. If I wasn't, I could choose my video or my microphone to make sure everything is correct. And then I'm gonna click Start Recording. And there will be a countdown. Three, two, one, go. The recorder shows in the bottom left corner. You can see a timer on your recorder. You can hit the trash can to cancel the recording. You can pause the recording or stop the recording and you can collapse it to make it smaller. So that way, if it's in the way over here, I could either just collapse it or I can drag it anywhere I want in my screen and then collapse it. I have to expand in order to move it around. Once you collapse, you can't move it until you expand it again and you can move it wherever is going to be the best for you so it's not in the way as you are teaching. So I like that you can move it around. It's recording, I don't have to worry about doing anything. Once it's started, it's good to go. Now when I'm done, I just hit stop recording and you'll see this uploading. And since I don't wanna do anything with it right now because I'm still teaching, getting ready for my next class, I'm just going to close it out, done. Now, once it is uploaded and ready to go, I can go to my videos again, and now I can see the new video that I just recorded. And again, I can copy the link, or I can go to download. 
since I just finished this video, it has not finished uploading yet. So it's not ready for me to download. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes, but it'll get a message usually will pop up if you're on your computer, letting you know that the video is ready for you to download. So now I have all my videos. Once it's ready for me to download, again, download the video, send it to my parent, and I'm good to go. Now, if you wanted to just record yourself, you don't want to record like a teaching lesson on Koala Go or another platform. You just want to record yourself reading a book or teaching pronunciation. I can just open a tab here. I'm going to click on my Vimeo again. And this time I'm going to choose camera. I think I need to close out of here. Okay, so let's try that again. So I'm gonna click on Vimeo. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I need to change my camera settings to Manicam. There we go, <laughs> now it's working. So now, of course, always make sure you have your camera settings and your microphone settings correct so you can see yourself. So now I can record myself on the screen. It's only recording this video box. It's not recording the screen with me. It's only recording me. So I'm going to click start recording. Three, two, one. Hello. And then I can read my book, practice pronunciation, and then I click stop. And you can see it only recorded the video of me. Now I'm going to exit out of that. So the third option is both. So if you have like a book, let's say like Reading A to Z that you wanted to read and you had the Reading A to Z open on your computer and then you can click both and then you can record yourself. So you have your video and the book. You can move yourself around and you can record yourself that way. So I'm going to start recording. Three, two, one. Hello, hello. I'm reading a book, move around, and I'm going to stop the recording. And you can see a little sneak peek. I'm, you see myself moving around on the screen. It's recording me and the screen together. And I'm going to close it out. All right, so now let's go back to my videos. I'm going to refresh. And now all those videos that I just recorded are on my screen. Let's see if this one is ready to download yet. Oh, perfect. So that one I just did, that was only probably three minutes and it's already ready to download. It was a very short video too, so that's probably part of it. So I have my 240. This one actually has more options because it was such a small video. I can record, download up to a 1080p video, which only 5.066 megabytes because it was such a small video, a short video. And then I have my recording of myself. It's already ready to go, super short. And then the last one, let's see. Oh, already ready to go and ready to download. Now, let's say I downloaded it, sent it to my parent. Now I'm just going to delete, permanently delete. It won't play anymore anywhere it's embedded. Delete, bam, and it's gone. I don't need to save them as long as I've already downloaded them. You can also create a separate folder on your computer if you want to keep your downloaded videos for yourself without taking up space on Vimeo. Keep them in that folder. That way you can clear your space on Vimeo and still have access to that video. So I hope this is helpful. If you wanna try out Vimeo, like I said, make sure you just sign up using the free basic plan. You don't have to sign up for a free trial. You don't have to sign up for the paid plan. Just look for the Vimeo basic plan. I hope this is helpful to somebody. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Bye everyone.